everyone, this is Ross, and I get this question a lot. When are we supposed to be picking our figs? When is the right time? And you can see here with these green figs, these are figs that are very hard and inedible, and um, they're actually filled with fig sap, and fig sap is actually toxic to your skin, and if you were to eat this, it wouldn't taste good, and you probably would get some blisters on your mouth. So you can see the fig here on the right is a fig that's starting to swell. It's starting to turn color, get larger. Uh, but even this fig here, it's very hard still, even though we got some color to it. But it's still filled with fig sap, and as the fig ripens on the tree, the longer it ripens, the less of that sap goes away and stays itself in the tree, and it won't be found in the fig. So it's really important to at least ripen your figs to the point where there's no sap. Um, first off, for your mouth, but also for uh, you know the flavor of these figs. Um, what I'm looking for, just in general, when picking figs, is a really soft neck. I'm not necessarily here concerned too much with the, the color. The color is a nice indicator. We can also have some cracking and even some honey, some fig nectar dripping from the eye. But just in general, the, you know, the neck of these figs should be soft so that this fig, even though it's drooping horizontally, it should actually be drooping downwards like this. And that's really when you know. You're only really gonna be able to tell is by touching the fig. And the fig ripens from the bottom up. So the bottom will be softer than the neck. So if you can guarantee that the neck is soft, you can guarantee that the fig is indeed ripe. So this one here, for my own preferences, is not ready. And it's just not ready to be picked. Let me show you guys some that actually are ripe give you guys a good idea. Um, in fact, we're gonna cut some open here in just a moment and show you the differences between some of them that may appear to be ripe. We'll pick this one back here, if I can get it off the tree. We'll pick a couple of them, guys, and we'll open them up and show you guys what the inside looks like because there's differences even on the inside that you can kinda tell that it's just not ripe. Here we have a fig back here that's definitely drooping down, but because it has such a long stem, it appears to be ready to be picked. But if you feel the neck, it's definitely quite soft. In fact, the body of the fig is quite soft. You can see these cracks here, which can also be a nice indicator. But again, we're looking for, in most of these, the right color, but above all, we're looking for a soft neck. I'm gonna put these guys down. We're gonna pick one more fig for you guys. And every fig, guys, and this is kind of why it's difficult to make a video on when to pick a fig, because all of them are a bit different. You can see this one here. It's black, it's fully black, it's got the right color to it, it's got some interesting cracks down the side, and the fig is sort of drooping, we feel the neck. It definitely seems ready to be picked. And we got one more over here of the same variety, but this one's really droopy and much more soft. So we're gonna pick this one and show you guys the comparison between the two of these. One that was drooping completely. We're actually, guys, stuck. Our wire here is stuck. Give me one second, okay. I'll take you guys over to the table now. But we're gonna compare the one that was drooping more to the one that was not and see which one of these was more ripe. And you may look at these and say, all right, well, the color on this one's darker, right? So the color on, the, on this one, this one must be more ripe, but this one's actually softer and I can guarantee you that that one's actually more ripe. We're gonna cut these open now. I'm trying to make this quick for you guys. Let me zoom in just a tad. Okay, so we'll start with, this is a, a fig called Black Madeira, and this is the really soft one. And we'll open this one for you guys. And you can see, look how beautiful that is. And then we'll open up the harder one, but it's actually darker in color. And we'll show you this one. 
also very beautiful on the inside. But let's compare them side by side. And you can sort of tell here, it's just, it's very difficult to get an eye for this kind of thing. But you can see on the left, this is the one that's more ripe, the pith, the walls of the fig, this white area here is actually a bit more yellow. Whereas the one on the right has walls that are a bit more white. So the walls are also a nice little determination in that the walls will actually start to turn a different color. In addition, so will the pulp. And sometimes it really depends on the variety, but some of them will turn from an amber color when they're less ripe to a darker red color when they're more ripe. And it really can have a broad range of spectrum of colors depending on the variety, depending on the fig that you guys are growing here. Um, I can't really give you guys a general tip here for all of them. But the berry figs, the ones that are dark red on the inside, those usually start out as pink before they turn red. Here's another variety. Isn't that beautiful? Whew. That's a beaut there, guys. We're gonna get to try this fig for the first time. And then lastly, this is a fig I picked purposely that's not ready. And it has a much tougher exterior to it. In fact, the neck is almost non-existent. It's pretty flat. But in general, this fig, in my mind, does not seem ready. Let's pick it. And this is a different type of fig. So this one's a honey fig. Wow, look at that. That also looks really good. So, um, I'm gonna taste them now for you guys just very quickly and maybe we can come up with some sort of taste description here. So you guys can also decide when to pick these based off of flavor. And I guess we can start off here with the Black Madeiras because we have one that's less ripe and one that is more ripe. The one that's less ripe is gonna have more of that, more melon tones to it, more of a, um, more of a, almost a fig sap flavor, which is unfortunate. It's very, very good. But it's still a bit tough, a bit hard. Um, a bit astringent is almost, you can almost say it's a bit astringent because it has that fig sap flavor to it. That sap's still in the fig just a tiny little bit. Not enough to do anything crazy, but the flavor hasn't intensified nearly as much as, let's say, the one that's more ripe. So we'll try this one now, the one that's more ripe. Very different flavor. In fact, it's incredible, by the way. That's a really tasty fig. But the difference between the two is really only a day of hanging on the tree. Maybe two days. And it is a world of difference in how that, that, that sap flavor has kind of gone away. There's no astringency. There's none of that dry mouth feel. That weird flavor that you kind of get from it. And um, it's just out of this world good. It's very sweet has a almost like a plum like berry flavor to it. It's incredible. So I want to try now the hard one over here and see if there's any and some of these may not have some of that. They just mean might be harder figs in general, right? So even though we picked this one a bit early, the one that I said wasn't right. It definitely looks ripe on the interior, and some of them just are a harder exterior. They have a harder shell, a harder synconium, a harder skin. So the skin is actually very bitter, and sometimes when they're underripe, they actually will have that bitter skin. And sometimes people may actually want to peel them. So I could peel off the pulp and just eat the, or peel off the skin and just eat the pulp. 
and I didn't get any bitterness. And it wasn't tough at all. So, I think it's really all about the neck, guys. I think uh, it's really something you ought to pay attention to when picking your figs, you know, as well as the color, the cracks, the honey dripping from the eye, but above all, guys, it's all in the neck. You know, they all ripen from the bottom up. And I hope this all helped you guys um, with your fig. And it's gonna be difficult, unfortunately, for me to be able to tell you exactly when to pick your fig, because your fig's gonna be different genetically than some of mine. So again, thank you guys for watching this one. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care, guys.